find the final velocity find the expression of final velocities find the expression of final velocities of two bodies of two bodies which undergo which undergo elastic collision which undergo an elastic collision in the diagram this is a body of mass m1 uh, this is a body a of mass m1 uh, which is moving with velocity 1 before the elastic collision and this is another body b of mass m2 which is moving with a smaller velocity u2 this body b has mass m2 and which moves with velocity u u2 u1 and u2 are the initial velocities of the two bodies a and b of masses m1 and m2 and before this elastic collision u1 is greater than u2 means the first body is moving with greater velocity this is uh, the diagram before the elastic collision before the elastic collision as u1 greater than u2 the body of mass m1 that means body a of mass m1 will collide with the body b with mass m2 this is the diagram during collision this is body a and b a will collide with body a the body a of mass m1 will collide with the body b of mass m2 after the elastic collision the body a here as u1 is greater than u2 that uh, this straight line which is indicating the magnitude of u1 will be greater than the straight line indicating the magnitude of u2 after the elastic collision the body a of mass m1 the body a of mass m1 the body a of mass m1 will be moving with uh, comparatively smaller velocity v1 the second body b will be moving with the, the another velocity this second body this is the diagram after the elastic collision and this is the diagram during collision where the body a collides with the body b let two bodies let uh, the two bodies a and b two bodies a and b so here uh, in the last diagram we have to denote a and b a and b of masses m1 and m2 be moving with velocity be moving with velocities be moving with the initial velocities u1 and u2 before the elastic collision along the same straight line let the two bodies a and b of masses m1 and m2 be moving with initial velocities e1 u2 along the same straight line along the same straight line before the elastic collision before the elastic collision as e1 greater than u2 that means uh, the velocity of the body a is greater than that of the body b the body a will collide with the body b the body a will collide with the another body b and uh, they will be moving they will be moving with the final velocities with the final velocities v1 and v2 final velocities v1 and v2 after the elastic collision along the same straight line along the same straight line along the same straight line after the elastic collision after the elastic collision
as the linear momentum as the linear momentum is conserved as the linear momentum is conserved in this elastic collision is conserved in this elastic collision in this elastic collision comma total initial linear momentum will be same as uh, the total final linear momentum so in the diagram in the diagram so therefore we what we can write m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 v2 m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is the total linear initial linear momentum and m1 v1 plus m2 v2 is the total final linear momentum of the two bodies before collision linear momentum of the body a is m1 u1 and linear momentum of the body b is m2 u2 so total initial linear momentum is m1 u1 plus m2 u2 before the elastic collision after the elastic collision linear momentum of the body a is m1 v1 and linear momentum of the body b is m2 v2 so total linear momentum after the collision is m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and they will be same that means m1 u1 plus m2 v2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 v2 this is equation 1 that means m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 v2 or comma m1 is taken common minus m1 v1 equal m2 v2 minus m2 u2 not v2 it should be m2 u2 minus m2 u2 now m1 is taken common m1 bracket open u1 minus v1 equal m2 bracket open v2 minus u2 in the previous line we have to uh, make a correction that is we have to write u2 so on, on the right hand side m2 bracket open v2 minus u2 this is equation 2 this is equation 2 this is equation 2 again the kinetic energy of the system remains constant that means conserved the kinetic energy of the system remains constant that means conserved that is conserved that means total initial kinetic energy of the system or the bodies half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square will be equal to half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square total initial kinetic energy of the two bodies will be equal to the total final kinetic energy of the two bodies kinetic energy of the body a before collision is half m1 u1 square of the body b kinetic energy is half m2 u2 square and after collision the kinetic energy of the two bodies are half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square they will be same now after simplification what we can write m1 bracket open u1 square minus v1 square bracket close equal m2 bracket open u2 square minus v2 square m1 bracket open u1 plus v1 u1 minus v1 into u1 minus v1 equal m2 bracket open u2 plus u2 plus it should be m2 bracket open in the previous line it should be v2 square minus u2 square so m2 bracket open v2 plus u2 bracket close bracket open v2 minus u2 this is equation 3 this is equation 3 this is equation 3 dividing equation 3 by equation 2 and dividing equation 3 by equation 2 and dividing equation 3 by equation 2 we get we 
we get uh, m1 bracket open u1 plus v1 then u1 minus v1 divided by a1 bracket open u1 minus v1 m2 bracket open v2 plus u2 bracket close bracket open v2 minus u2 divided by m2 v2 minus u2 or comma u1 plus v1 equal v2 plus u2 or comma v2 minus v1 equal u1 minus u2 that means uh, relative velocity after collision will be equal to the relative velocity of the two bodies before collision or v2 equal or v2 equal u1 minus u2 plus v1 v2 equal u1 minus u2 plus v1 that is the final velocity of the body b after the elastic collision equation 4 putting the expression of v2 putting the expression of v2 from equation 4 from equation 4 in equation 1 from equation 4 in equation 1 we get m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 v2 or m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 bracket open putting the expression of v2 that is u1 minus u2 plus v1 or comma m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 u1 minus m2 u2 plus m2 v1 m1 u1 plus m2 u2 minus m2 u1 plus m2 u2 equal m1 v1 plus m2 v1 taking common u1 we get m1 minus m2 bracket close into u1 plus 2 m2 u2 now m1 uh, v1 is taken common under bracket m1 plus m2 bracket close into v1 therefore v1 equal m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 bracket closed into u1 plus 2 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 bracket close into u2 this is uh, v1 equation 5 this is the final velocity this is the final velocity of the body a of mass m1 after the elastic collision this is the final velocity of the body a of mass m1 after the elastic collision again putting the expression of v1 from equation 5 in equation again putting the expression of v1 putting the expression of v1 in equation uh, expression of v1 from equation 5 in equation 4 in equation 4 putting the expression of v1 from equation 5 in equation 4 we get v2 equal u1 minus u2 plus v1 equal u1 minus u2 putting the expression of v1 which is m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 bracket close into u1 bracket open 2 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into u2 equal u1 is taken common 1 plus m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 bracket closed bracket closed plus now taking uh, u2 common considering the fourth term 2m2 divided by m1 plus m2 minus 1 minus 1 is coming from the second term that is from uh, minus u2 equal u1 bracket open u1 plus m2 plus m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 u2 bracket open 2m2 divided by m1 plus m2 2m2 minus bracket open m1 plus m2 therefore v2 equal 2m1 divided by m1 plus m2 bracket closed into u1 plus 
एम टू माइनस एम ऑन डिवाइडेड बाई एम ऑन प्लस एम टू ब्रैकेट क्लोज इन टू यू टू दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ फाइनल वेलोसिटी ऑफ द बॉडी बी ऑफ मास एम टू आफ्टर द इलास्टिक कोलिशन दिस इज द फाइनल वेलोसिटी ऑफ द बॉडी बी ऑफ मास एम टू आफ्टर द इलास्टिक कोलिशन आफ्टर द इलास्टिक कोलिशन वी कैन एक्सप्लेन वी कैन डिस्कस एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन हाउ टू मेमोराइज द फॉर्मूला वी वन एंड वी टू वी वन हैज एक्सप्रेशन एम वन माइनस एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू इन टू यू वन प्लस टू एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू ब्रैकेट क्लोज इन टू यू टू वी टू इक्वल टू एम वन डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू ब्रैकेट क्लोज इन टू यू वन प्लस एम टू माइनस एम टू माइनस एम वन डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू ब्रैकेट क्लोज इन टू यू टू हियर द फॉर्म अंडर ब्रैकेट दैट इज एम वन माइनस एम टू डिवाइडेड बाई एम वन प्लस एम टू विल मूव टू द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ वी टू विथ यू टू एंड ऑल्सो एम वन will become m2 and m2 will become m1 that's why in the denominator of v1 we have m1 minus m2 and here we have m2 minus m1 so with u2 in the expression of v1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 will come to this position and here uh, the same will be divided by m1 plus m2